In a dramatic series of events, Iran launched ballistic missiles at strategic locations in response to what they describe as the recent atrocities of the Zionist regime. They carefully selected several sites, including ISIS command points in Syria, eight locations near the U.S. consulate in Erbil, and an Israeli spy headquarters in Erbil as well in Iraqi Kurdistan. Tehran struck several sites in Syria, targeting ISIS militants in retribution for the recent attacks earlier this month near the tomb of the Iranian general Qasem Soleimani, which claimed the lives of nearly a hundred Iranians. This was a bold and strategic move by Iran where they demonstrated their precision capabilities by launching ballistic missiles with remarkable accuracy over a tremendous distance. What makes this development particularly noteworthy is this is the longest distance covered by a ballistic missile in Iran's history, over 1,230 kilometers, all the way from Iran to Syria. This is a testament to the advanced technology and capabilities of Iran's missile program that they built from the ground up. The Israeli spy headquarters and the eight locations targeted near the U.S. consulate in Erbil, Iraqi Kurdistan, in which four people were killed and six were injured. Killed included a multi-millionaire Kurdish businessman, Peshra Dezai, the CEO of Empire World, which is a real estate development company, and he also facilitated oil exports to Israel. I'm guessing he must have been on Iran's radar for some time. The IRGC released a statement saying that this was in response to the killing of three members of the Iranian guards, including a senior commander who was assassinated recently in Syria. Iran has shown that they are willing to put it all on the line and even risk a full-scale regional war. So if anyone's thinking that any aggression against Iran will go unpunished, think again because Iran is by far the biggest player in the Middle East and this has just proved it.